Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got an interesting one. We're gonna watch what happens when someone forgets that they're muted, not muted, <laughs> and a teacher has to correct them. Oh, oh yes. Sad. I'm on a Zoom call and the teacher is like, okay, well, turn your camera on, just mute your mic, just don't be in bed or in the bathroom or like in your kitchen. Where else am I supposed to go? I don't have a game room, I don't, I don't, I don't got like 18 bedrooms. Okay, easy, easy now. You can be in your kitchen. I didn't say anything about not being in the kitchen. I just said you need to be in an appropriate place. I was just giving some examples. God, I you can be in your bedroom. I just need to be in bed. I think she's never going back to school after that one. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> If you've got a meeting <laughs> and you're trying to diss things, make sure you're on mute, yeah? Yeah, you That's the first goal. Definitely check that. <laughs> My god, it's incredible that she probably dug herself a hole from which she can... Mm. You, you could use that as your, your maybe your second bedroom. You could use Zoom calls from the <laughs> hole of the shame hole that you've created you for yourself. yourself. Leland! Give me the hammer! Okay, can you- okay- Don't miss that! Ah! Leland! Ah! Leland, stop! Leland! No! Leland! Stop smashing the TV! Leland! Oh, look at all this! Look at all this! Leland, stop! Get out of the bathroom! Get out of the bathroom! <laughs> <laughs> what the actual heck? But wait a minute, I think this child has behavior problems. He, like, you know, he's got to have multiple he problems. He legitimately has like a mental health disorder or something. You know, like you don't just... Yeah, yeah, probably. But as you pointed out, in the damn thing, Who's recording it? Who, who is recording him and not being like, standing. Leland, stop, no. <laughs> like, uh, it, that whole bathroom is destroyed. Cooked. No more showers are happening. Like, I thought he stopped when he was taking off the tiles. No, 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 no. That guy continued. I hope he'd stopped when he beat the first TV to death. Jesus. But like, he did not. He attacked another TV. A poor defenseless TV. Two of them, at least. I know. And that's just what it was recorded. Who, who knows was... what happened off camera? No. <laughs> Like, you destroy one of my TVs, you'll be sitting right outside for a couple of weeks. Oh, but... Yeah, because that has happened, hasn't it? That has happened. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm still here, folks. <laughs> I'm still standing. Yeah, if you want to know that unfortunate story, <laughs> comment below. If I asked you on a date, should I pay for it? Yeah, absolutely. So you're going to cover the tip, right? No. You're asking me on a date. Does that mean you get to order the most expensive thing on the menu? I probably am not going to do that if it's a first date. I think that's probably a little bit excessive, but I definitely think you should pay for it. You're asking me on the date. You're taking me out to dinner. No, if you asked me, does that mean you're going to cover for it? Yeah, if I'm asking you on a date. So I shouldn't cover the tip either? No, I will cover that. Does it make you feel a way if you ask a guy and he doesn't offer to pay? I've never asked a guy on a date, so truthfully, I don't really know. Have you ever been out with a guy who didn't want to cover the bill? No. It's like a first date thing, like the boy just covers it. I, I agree with that in almost every regard, right? Like if you invite someone out, regardless of male or female, you should pay. Especially first mm -hmm. date and, you know, couple afterwards as well. Yeah. Always pay for that. The get out of jail free card for women is that they never invite any guys out because they get so much attention. It's ridiculous. I will say that I was at an impasse with a boy waiting to see, would he ask me out? He did not. Did I ask him out? I no. did not. Did the conversation end? Yes, yes, it did. it absolutely did. Yes, it did. <laughs> but I've also been in situations where the boy was like, do you want to split the bill? And I was like, no. You asked me. <laughs> you asked me though. Yeah. Got any other rants in you? No, I'm done. Rate that rant down below. Comment. 
How much would you rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10? I personally would rate myself a 10. I think I'm a 10 um, because I really think I'm pretty. I think I'm a 10. I know I'm a 10. I'm confident that I'm a 10. I'm a uh, motherfucking 10. Good for you. I'm a 10. I'm good fat, but I'm Looks a 10. Looks-wise, I'm probably like a 6. Personality-wise, 10. Oh, I'm going to go low. I'll go 2. I don't give a fuck. We're so 10. We're 10. We're bad for ourselves. Realistically, We're realistically, like, like eight. an 8. I was going to say an 8. Yeah. 10. Without a With, fucking question. No. Be a mess, babe. Broke my scale. Broke actually. my fucking scale. 10. 11. I would say I'm an eight. Solid. Ten. You gotta believe in yourself. Ten. I feel like if I'm being honest, I think I'm an eight. Ten. Aww. Ten. How much would you rate yourself on a scale of one to ten? On a scale of one to ten, I'm ten. I'm Hispanic and I got a fat ass. Yeah. Oh, she's a funny. She's got got us as a few in that last one. I totally understand that. I'm a ten because I'm black and I got a fat ass. Fat ass so. <laughs> Jesus, the delusion on some of these people. <laughs> like the guys were okay, but there's no, like, if someone asks for how attractive are you, one out of ten, I don't care about your personality. Oh. I don't. That's not part of the scale. And what was it, BMS that they said? Yeah, broke, broke my, my scale. scale. I have never heard that one, and I think I will die being stupider because of it. <laughs> I, I I don't get it. Don't it's, get it's it. Broke my scale. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do ten out of ten. That's a hundred percent. But I broke my scale. No, because she's probably saying that she Whoa, sat on the sale own... and broke it. Or that. Or that. I, it's got to be that. And it's like the first. What was, I, was, I can't remember which one it was. But it was like in the middle of the way, and there was the two guys and the fat girl, and she was like, "Yeah, I know I'm fat, but I'm still gonna give myself a 10. Yeah. Because her How face, does that work? Because maybe she thinks she's pretty in the face. Or maybe she thinks that being fat doesn't necessarily detract from her status as a 10. You know? No. In her eyes. In her <laughs> eyes. I'm just, in, in her eyes. I got it. Okay. I do. I was going to applaud the guy for saying, looks wise, I'm a 6, but personality wise, I'm a 10. I was going to say, Yeah, I thought that was okay. pretty reasonable. Well, the guy gave him a 2. <laughs> the guy yeah, gave himself a 2. I don't care. 2. Give me a 2, mate. Yeah. 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 There we go. Comment down below if you feel that some of those values were a little bit off or if you thought they were perfect. We want your answers. <laughs> Comment down below if you broke your scale. <laughs> if, you, if you were BMS. <laughs> Bro, my teacher is a homie. He knows I have this crush on this one girl in my class, so for group projects, he randomly picked groups and put us two together. Aren't you homeschooled? So, is that that's either the sister or the mother? Ew. Right? One of the two? Probably a sister. It's probably from Alabama. Oh my he's god. A, he's, he's one of those kind of guys. Oh, my oh this kid. I love this guy. I love the kind of the joke stuff. It really yeah. makes me laugh, but <laughs> aren't you homeschooled? Mm, that's a problem. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And first I was thinking, oh, because love. And then I thought, oh. No, 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 no. Still love, though. <laughs> Still love. <laughs> Wrong love. Incest is, is love. I, I love to see him eating the meal that I cooked. I love seeing him sleep easy. Like every night, like clockwork, I scratch this man's back to sleep. And I know when he's asleep because I can tell when his breathing changes. And some people might think that's psychotic, but that's like, I just know that's when I'm like, oh, I can stop now. But I find joy in being your rest. And it shouldn't be conditional. So this is your little bit of hope for the day, right? There are women out there that sound that, that are like this. And we've seen a lot of the stupid ones today, but they're not the only ones that are out there. There are the good ones out there, the ones that will give you a nice little bit of food mm -hmm. and will scratch your back when you need to go to sleep because that's a thing. That's yeah, a big thing, that is right? That's a big thing. And just people that will generally look after you. Yeah, yeah. I think I love seeing you eat food that I make, especially when you say that it's good. Yeah. You know, it makes me happy. I know, and it's such a rare thing for me to say as well. I mean, it must be a godsend. Okay. So much for hope. <laughs> so much for, so hope. Much for hope. And on that bombshell, I think it's time to end. So do the comment and liking and subscribing. That really helps us out. And we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.